Hello world, it is Thursday, May 5th. Kind of an overcast day today, and I guess a slight chance of rain, but warm, unusually warm weather for November, but um, chance to get outside, move around. Hope you can do it. Today's devotion is entitled Family, and it's written by Tony Robinson. Tony bases the devotion upon the Gospel of Mark, chapter 3, verses 32 through 35, from the New Revised Standard Version. <clears throat> your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside asking for you. And Jesus replied, Who are my mother and, bro and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, Here is my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother, my sister, my mother. And Tony writes, Often I hear the church described as a family. I'm never quite sure about this. Speaking of the church as family, I understand that it's a, a way of saying we find friends, love, and a sense of belonging in church. But sometimes all this talk of church as family does something else. It says to the guest, visitor, newcomer, or stranger, you're not part of the family. Maybe I am unsure about all this because Jesus himself doesn't speak of the family in a simple or unproblematic way. He challenges family and redefines it radically. I doubt it felt all that great to his mother and siblings when he looked around at a crowd of perfect strangers and said, here are my brother and brothers. I expect they were perplexed by that, perplexed and probably hurt. Really, Jesus explodes conventional notions of family, and as precious as my own family is to me, Jesus' words are a needful stick of dynamite, especially when family or church is family becomes in-groupy and exclusive, especially when the spoken, yes, we're a family here, carries an unspoken, and you're not really a part of it. Jesus did not define family by blood or race, by shared history or time served, or by biological relationship. For Jesus, obedience to God was thicker than blood. If church is family, let it be this kind of radically defined family. Whoever does the will of God is my family. Tony's prayer. Thank you, Jesus, for being so difficult, for challenging us, for being so often the question to our answers. Amen. Yes, this brings up a lot of thoughts for me um, with issues with churches being considered family, which sometimes... And not in all cases, but sometimes can uh, create barriers to those trying to come into the church and not feeling a part of it. I've honestly not felt that at St. John's, but um, maybe somebody has. I don't know. The other thing it made me think of is um, some people's devotion to a particular denomination. I think in general, and that's a generalization, <laughs> um, I think younger people are not as devoted or um, clinging to a particular denomination. They're really looking for a church that um, does perhaps what Jesus said, doing the will of God in the world. And I think that's what we should look at as we work together with other people from other churches and even other faith traditions is finding a way that um, we can be family by doing the will of God together. And maybe from my uh, progressive Christian background, doing the will of God is not so much converting people to Christianity, but doing work in the world that shows um, that we understand who Jesus was, that we follow Jesus, and that even if we're not Christian, our actions are showing that we are probably more Christian than some other people who claim to be Christian. Um, and I want to say it's not about doing works, but it's really, I think, responding out of gratitude for the love that we have been given and letting that flow out into the world as love in action. And that crosses all kinds of boundaries. Hope you have a good day, and I will talk to you again tomorrow.